A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls Hell on Earth. So last time we actually managed to make this little bit of a defense over here. Um, it's going to hold up against like wandering hordes and stuff, although I wouldn't be able to stand over here and snipe, but if they vomit and they destroy my stuff at the moment, we have a problem. Also, this roof is wood, so we need to upgrade that to cobble or concrete as soon as possible. Uh, we still have to knock most of this stuff out of here, but it's concrete, so we need way, way better tools. And yeah, we just, we have so much left to do. The amount of resources, guys, we need right now is insane. Not only do we need to extend this by, uh, by another row, so it's too thick. We also have to make sure that we can actually perhaps get this concrete and get a wall up over here so the zombies can't see us. And I want to have a roof above me by Horde Knight so to be able to actually shoot the vultures as well. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to actually spend the night times mining for stone. Because at the moment, we have quite a bit of play over here. But we don't have that much cobble, so we really need insane amounts of cobble right now. We do still also have to go and technically knock out all of this over here. At least the uh, the staircase of here. The only problem is this also is concrete. So that's going to be a big issue for us. We have a bedroll over here. Do we have a land claim? I should make sure I put the land claim down as well so we don't have to worry later about anything spawning or being where it's not supposed to be. We also do have to still go and do a lot of inventory management over here. And I actually want to go and see if I can't make another class. The only problem at the moment is... Yeah, we, we have the notes. We have 14 too many, but we don't have the ink. Uh, in the past, you used to be able to take the dyes and make ink out of the dye, but now you have to have plants and stuff. So I'm actually thinking of going on foot, like keeping the vehicle on me just in case. But going on foot and looking for more like more tomatoes and stuff like that. We need tomatoes, we need coffee, we need plant fibers, we need blueberries. Uh, there are some pure eyes with them in them, but most of the ones we're looking for is just going to be like on the outside. Please clear up. Uh, basically, when you're running over there in the forest area, you're, you're more likely to come across them, and we really need a lot of them right now. Our inventory is kind of full. 12 slots locked. This one's extra. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm glad it's actually pulling over over here now. Because when it's th that overcast, it's really hard to see what you're doing at the moment. We do also still have to go and remove all of this, but you can see that's a lot of work to be done. Uh, technically, just destroy this row over here. And then you just destroy the pillars on the bottom, and it should cave in, hopefully. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I also need to go and technically range as many vehicles as possible. Because at the moment, unfortunately, uh, we are running out of fuel. The more we drive around, the more fuel we lack. We have this tier 2 fetch. I'm going to get another quest from the scout as well. And then I need to start wrenching vehicles we come across. Especially if it's a POI vehicle. I'm actually thinking, because the resources are so hard to come by... To wrench a vehicle, then start the quest and wrench the vehicles again. Just for that little bit of an extra chance at fuel. And then as soon as we have cash, we have to come for? by over here some skills from a uh, trade routes. Craft better. See, we need way more cash. I think it's like 12k just to be able to uh, learn Bye. something from a uh... Silence of the Lambs. Uh, we'll we'll try this. I'm gonna show you guys what uh, has Can changed with this now. This is gonna be. Terrifying. <laughs> Especially knowing darkness falls is going to be terrifying. Let's go do this one first because if I die, I die at least and then we can just continue from there. Uh, but basically, for those of you who don't know, the scout quests have been changed. In the past when you did this, Silence of the Lambs, it spawned sc uh, scouts, screamers, but even though they screamed, nothing happened. Now when they scream, they spawn a screamer horde. So you can technically farm screamers by just building yourself a small a house. Um, activating that quest and just killing as many as possible. The only problem is, as you guys know, we are on Hell on Earth and it just takes like one small nick and we're dead. So I need to be really, really careful right now. It's a shame it's not on the road over here, so it's a little bit easier to get to. Also, I should be killing every single bunny and something I come across. If I'm lucky, we can actually come across a... Oh, also, we have a steel machete now. I realized uh, late last time we actually had a machete upgrade for the bone uh, bone machete, so that's awesome. But yeah, basically, um, if we're on the road, it's easier to get away. Over here on the dirt, it's a little bit harder. Although at least I don't think you get slowed down as like in Ravenhurst. In Ravenhurst, if you are running... Oh, this thing's attack rate is fast, but it makes it a hard to time. 
Uh, in Ravenous, if you're running on the dirt like this, you are super slow. And then you have to go to the road to speed up a bit. At least in Darkest Falls, I don't think it's like that much. Nice. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's a great upgrade. Yes, that's a fantastic upgrade right now. Awesome. Uh, do we have a treasure map over here? No. See, we have treasures over there, but they're all in the snow, and it's way too cold over there. Okay, since these are normal, uh, this is going to be so hard. I'm actually thinking I should probably uh, start the quest, run up to this uh, streamer and just kill it. Because if she spawns in ferals and stuff right now when she screams, we have a problem. Okay, vehicle is right here. I need to make sure I can actually reach it. See, now this is in the way of here. Make sure nothing is around the vehicle so we actually have access to it. And then mark our escape route just in case we have to get away. Oh, okay, we have to go talk to Razor as well for his quest. Awesome. Yeah, so I think after we do this now... Please don't be a mistake. Please don't be a mistake. Oh, crap. That was an instant mistake. Okay, so, um, yeah, at least they're not feral. But what are the chances that I get infected immediately and I spawn right next to one of the enemy? Okay, come on, stand next to each other. I want to throw one pie bomb. I want the XP. That's the only reason I'm doing this right now. I need to be very careful not to run out of stamina, especially now with my skin, knee, and also other stuff. Okay, all of them should die from that. Also, yeah, they don't aggro in this mod. Did they stop bleeding or are they st uh, still bleeding very slowly? At least the mod that I have on this machete makes it so they bleed regardless. I don't even have to do a power attack because of the mod because it allows... Oh no, not because of the mod. I'm, I'm wrong. It's because of the skill over here. Uh, where is it? Under this. Blade guy. No, it's not blade guy. Knife master. Primary attacks, so left click, is guaranteed to bleed the enemy. That's awesome. Although now we have to drink some antibiotics. I'll wait until 10% because doing that now is just going to be a waste. When I did this in my insane series, we had tough zombies and cops and stuff wake up and attack me immediately. So I didn't have time to just quickly really stop and check for loot. So I want to go for that second one as well. But if I wake up all the cops and ferals and stuff right now. Okay, let's stand on the roof and see what happens. Yep, see, all of them wake up for some reason. The moment you just get close, all of a sudden, all of them trigger. And they're on the roof as well. Hello, big mama. Bye-bye, vomiting girl. Ooh. It's a nice thing, as you can actually see the tomatoes from a from distance away. Look at that. It's actually very bright from a distance, and the moment you get closer, it's a little bit easier to find them. Uh, what I need to do now is I need to start wrenching vehicles. This bus over here is actually a prime example of a vehicle that's really good to loot. Uh, or wrench. The nice thing is we do have a Mega Crush as well. So if I can collect enough Mega Crushes, if we run out of fuel, we can just use those to get around. Only problem is now you have to use cash in the vending machines instead of tokens. So it makes it a little bit harder because now you have to get ahead of all of these um, tills and stuff as well inside POIs. I wonder if it's... <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I wonder if it's possible to actually uh, print or make money in the game. Imagine trying to fool the trader by giving him fake cash and then he actually shoots you on the spot. How dare you try and trick me. We'll have to see if we can't do as many scout quests as possible. I know also trader quests are important now. But I think with trader quests we'll stick to the fetch. Um, we need as much cash as possible. There's a vomiter right there. Vomiter right there. We need as much cash as possible right now um, to keep going. Um, I actually want to buy foods that give you a ton of wellness. I see tomatoes, tomatoes. The more we have right now, the better, because I want to make sure that I can actually go and make myself that ink. I think there's an ink recipe that uses uh, plant fibers and tomatoes. And if I'm right, then we'll be able to make ourselves that uh, third class. But yeah, basically, we need a lot of cash. I need to get my wellness up, and the only way to do that is food, drink, and medicine. And then by doing scout quests, I'm hoping we can actually find some clothing, some military gear that we'll be able to just 
the beef our defense is up. At the moment, it just takes a tickle from a zombie and we're dead. They just sneeze in our direction and we're dead. So if I can actually just get myself some better armor, just protect myself a little bit better, that would be amazing. Oh, I do need to be careful though. If I'm running on my on foot like this, um, I have to be careful of wandering hordes. Remember, now in Darkness Falls, you can run and place a block. But the moment you're in combat, or like a zombie senses you and you're in combat, you cannot place that block. So if a... Oh, there's another tomato over there. So if a wandering horde comes by and there's like dogs and stuff, you have to run. Every now and then there's like a little bit of a gap in the defense where if you get far enough away, it's, it's okay, you don't have to worry too much. But that's only if you get far enough away, then you can place a block. I need meat. I wonder if I'll be able to kill this dude. Nice. I need as much meat as possible, not as much food as possible at the moment. I should probably also try and uh, stealth all of these tougher ones in, in the area. You never know who's going to be feral. So she's just decaying, she's easy. The biker though, I don't think he's decaying, we'd have to be careful of him. Look at all the tomatoes and stuff over here, that's awesome. I should actually see what tier scopes are. Because I really, 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 really need a scope for this gun. Just now I was able to get that headshot in, but I feel like a scope's gonna do that bonus damage, an extra, uh, just the, an extra nudge in damage. And also I have to go for stealth a little bit more so I can become a ninja. The more points you put into skill, or like the stealth skill, the better you'll be able to stealth a zombie. Like just sneak attacks do way, way, way more damage. I almost forgot that I took all of the farm plots over here. It's a shame. I should have actually left it here and let the stuff grow. And every now and then just come fetch it. And then later I can decide whether I want to move them or not. Wellness 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Wellness 2 for coffee. Okay. I wonder if you can buy cash from the traders. What you used to sell them, but now it's going to be the reverse. I didn't think you'd pull it off. Okay, so you I need sniper ammo and I need shotgun ammo. Although for Horde Knight, we need 762 ammo. Any jobs, retrieve supplies. Isn't this the one we have to dig? Yeah, secret stash. Now the problem's gonna be digging for this thing. Ooh, I wonder if I should. I'll do that later. Let's see how much. How many attacks does it take for dirt? One, two. Okay, four attacks. And look at my stamina. So we are not strong enough at the moment to do this quest for him because the moment we try and do it, we'll be screwed. Our stamina is going to be low and as the moment the circle shrinks and zombies spawn, we won't be able to kill them. Blueberry pie recipe, 2.2. That is definitely worth it though. Oh, fuel first, fuel first. Boom. Oh, I just realized we had a better shovel as well. And then we can sell this, we can sell this as well, although we can't sell to him unfortunately. If I have enough cash left... Ooh, no. Even if I don't have enough cash left for the other thing now, that's fine. The cobble's way, way more important. I'm actually thinking of also going down and just talking to uh, Joel and see if he has some um, cobble. If not, we'll go over here and we'll uh, go to the fetch over there. And we have to go hand Oz in. We have to play the smart. If I can buy cobble instead of make cobble, because cobble's super inexpensive. And I think it's even cheaper if you buy the clay and get the stone on your own. Oh, I haven't put the fuel inside the vehicle yet. But overall, yeah, if I can just make sure we can buy cobble like this, we can upgrade the whole base. Ideally, we want our whole base to be concrete, but if we can't have it concrete in time, then at least as long as the whole thing's cobble, we should be able to face the Horde Knights easily. Uh, the way I'm going to design my base, we only have to worry about vultures. And obviously, if I can remove the stairs, that's going to be even more true, because the zombies won't go up uh, upstairs. At the moment, the way it's designed, the zombies might go up the stairs to the second floor and decide to eat into the wall. So yeah, we need to see if we can't just quickly go and plug that as soon as possible. If I can get some TNT, some dynamite. I know it might call a screamer, but I can just blow up the stairs. Later, I'll do repairs to the walls and stuff, whatever damage was done with, uh, due to the explosion. Okay, I want to make sure we get the XP, thank you. Oh, we also do still have the sledge. Probably use that as well. 
I need to make a silencer and I need to make a um, scope for this gun. Make sure there's no other zombies in here with me as well. Yeah, I need to make a silencer, I need to make a scope, and then we need to make a watch so we can tell the time. That alone already is going to be a major, major win for us. Please tell me you have a ton of cobble over here for me. Please, 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 please. Let's see, Cigar is definitely worth it. If he doesn't have the resources... Yeah, there's calipers. Although I don't know how easy or difficult it's going to be to find it, so I wonder if I should even try and buy it. Uh, no, not that. This. 3,500. We need to do way more quests. I also need to start saving cash because I want to be able to go and buy skills from the scout. Oh, nice. He sells this. Although, I need stuff that gives wellness. Unfortunately, that for some reason does not give wellness. Uh, let's see, anything else? Winchester rifle, we already have one, so we don't have to make another one. I think, let's go for the cigar. Much obliged, stranger. Oh, no. Yeah, that was my fault. That was so dumb. I should have checked first. We had one already. That was so dumb, Jean. Okay, infection is 9.4%. So I just threw away money. I just threw away money. Damn, that was bad. See, carelessness like that, we cannot afford to do that. We could have gotten an iron spear or steel spear. Oh, steel spear. Damn, look at that. That could have really helped us. Okay, let's go do the tier 2 uh, fetch then. Uh, we don't have the cash for anything else anyways right now. So I'll go over there. And then we just have to see if we can do this quest without dying right now. At least, uh, let me just do this to heal slightly. That's going to heal the abrasion. I'm going to see what zombie that is. I want to jump down here and it's a big mom vomiting in my face. I don't like the fact that in the, uh, the mods of 4, every time you hit a zombie, they twirl around towards you. You're safe until they turn like that, and then all of a sudden you're bye bye I need more plants. If I can find more POIs like this, I have to grab all the plants. I wonder why that's blue. Some of the signs are blue, some of them are white. It's just to differentiate between the different ones. Shame the traders weren't selling any ink. Basically, the two classes we really need to go for right now is the scientist, because we'll be able to make inks cheaper for the next classes. And then also farmer, because in this mod, as you guys have noticed, we're going to need a ton of wellness. It's so incredibly easy to die in this mode. So if we can just make sure that every time we die, we're able to replenish our uh, wellness fast, or at least... Get our wellness so high that even if we take a ton of damage, we don't die. That would be amazing. At the moment, like I said, a zombie just tickles us and we're down. So if I can make sure that my level is high enough or my wellness gets like two, 300, they won't be able to kill me or hit me that easily. Even if a cop hits me like dead on in the face, there has to be a radiated feral or something to be able to take me down. Okay, we're going to put this over here. A lot of these pure eyes actually have a ton of resources inside. Unfortunately, though... It's a dangerous POI. Like the amount of vultures and enemies inside of here is no joke. I love the increased drop uh, bag drop rates. I mean, the reason for that obviously is uh, is the fact that the, uh, the mod's harder, so it drops more. But still, even though it's harder, the fact that it drops more like that is just amazing. And my fetch is on this level. right there it seems to be in the roof so i have to go down that's locked the breakthrough concrete is going to take too long right now let me be careful i don't know what's inside this door on the other side <laughs> no thank you they're all radiated is that in the floor perhaps I think it might be in the floor. I'm hoping. If that's downstairs with those radiant zombies, I have no idea how we're going to do that. Here too. I don't know if they were uh, weak zombies just now or what, but damn. There's a lady over there. Technically, I need to see if we can't get ourselves a ton of uh, bolts. I mean, we do have this thing. And 177. I'll, I'll try and kill her one shot and see if we're strong enough. 
But I think this pub might be in the way of you. Oh crap, now this toilet's in the way. I have a feeling this floor is going to be concrete. If I have to dig through concrete floor, then so be it. Oh, it's wood. Awesome. There's no way I'm going to go down to where the ferals are and then try and get them from over there. They might be weak ferals, who knows? But if who knows? But if they're feral, if there's just one normal feral, or, uh, or I mean normal radiated, or a zombie that's actually feral feral, we have a huge problem. I'm not even gonna go for the final stash. I'll make do with the trader reward for now. I don't like I like playing chicken like this, but I want to play safe. Now that we know how easy it is to die, I'll keep the deaths to horde night. Thank you. I really want to finish looting this place, but it's going to be too dangerous. We need to get our stealth skills so incredibly high so we can one-shot those vultures. Unfortunately, even on my Insane series, when we got strong enough to one-shot zombies, the radiated vultures could tank shots. And at the moment, we can't afford that because, as you know, those our zombies are way, way, way too tough. I mean, it was, uh, it was the radiated vultures that killed us in the first place, so we have to be so careful. Oh, I see another uh, tomato over there. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Okay, so... We can double rewards regardless. I don't have to have that on. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's double rewards regardless. So I can have the other ones Great on. Job. I'll take this, and I'll take... Ammo. Okay, any other jobs? Restore power, silence of lambs. Yeah, but I don't know if I can trust you. You keep giving me really tough ones. I'm gonna have to stack up next to that start of the quest to make sure I can You're, actually survive. Uh, feeling under the weather. Northwest. Here's your pay for a job well done. Okay, any jobs? West, northwest, petite cracker book. Hmm. McStab <laughs> McStab residence. That sounds so fun. Super shotgun messiah. I want, oh yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna do fetches for now. To earn some oh, thank goodness. Make stabby stab stab. I'm hoping that doesn't mean I'm gonna get stabbed over there. Nervous laughter. <laughs> okay, let's just quickly do that. I need to put stuff away. We're almost hungry and uh, thirsty at the moment. Yeah, we are actually already hungry. It's almost gonna say that we're thirsty as well. Oh, I need you to go east, not uh, west. That's fine. I can quickly do her quest first and then we'll do the other quest. The reason being is obviously the screamer one's a little bit difficult. I'm gonna have to literally you next to the exclamation stack up so I can start it just in case another zombie spawns on my head as I do it. And then for over here, we need to climb a ladder because you can't nerd pull. Climb a ladder on the outside and try and stealth all the birds. And then from the top, see if we can't stealth all the zombies on the top floor. If we can do that, we have a ton of books upstairs and we can go for two classes. Obviously, firstly, we'll need the ink, but as long as we have the ink, we don't have to worry. I should probably also get all the potatoes and carrots because I think some of them can actually be used for a ink or for a dye. Yeah, a ink. Okay, I think we do have steroids on us. On fibers we can throw away. I need to actually go and make that cobble into something. Modify, do that. Modify, do that. Uh, swap these two around. Nope. Huh? I just uh, put it away and put uh, I put it away from you and then put it back into the spot again. No, it's in the bunker. It's downstairs. Which side? Which side? Which side? Oh, it's over here. Okay, that might be doable. It's right here at the final. It feels weird not getting the final stash. But at the same time, I want to survive. Thank you. I think if you break this door, you break the whole door. That's the only problem. It's going to be right here. Do you know what's going to suck? If a Wandering Horde comes by and I have to go into the POI just to get away from the Wandering Horde. And then wake up all the zombies on the inside as well. Okay, so let's go do the scout one before we get really, really hungry. We don't want to get to a point where we're so hungry we can't move. Because it's going to affect our stamina. And then I'll need to go and visit Anna's place as well. We have enough cash to po possibly buy some cobble from her. So we've checked Jen, we've checked Razor, we've checked Joel. We should actually go to Trader Wrecked as well. Only problem is the feel that it takes to get there. But yeah, we need to go to Trader uh, Wrecked and see if we can't buy some cobble from him. And then when the trader resets again, we have to go to all of them again to check. 
If we could actually manage to steal some of the final stashes off of some of these places, that'd be amazing. For example, that place, but that's impossible. <laughs> the amount of ferals and radiators and crops that's going to be inside over there is going to make it almost completely impossible. Okay, so I need to do this so whatever spawns in doesn't immediately smack me. Whew, let's try this again. I'm actually getting chills right now. Please don't let a crop spawn in. Okay, there's two of them. Did she just spawn again? Wait, what? Okay, Phew. at least these Screamer Hordes are nice and small. The Screamer Hordes I know are not this small. They're way tougher. Okay, bleed out to me. Thank you. Now they're bleeding from the... Technically, I didn't even need the pipe bomb. But just to make sure their HP gets nice and low. Look at that, they're still bleeding. I think they actually go all the way. Especially since some of them are still decayed. I'd rather make sure that I'm the one to kill them though. At least this was a, a scout quest, a, a screamer quest. So because I killed the screamer, it counts. Remember last time we did a quest where we used a nail bomb and the nail bomb made the zombie bleed out and it didn't count towards the quest. So I want to be really careful of that. Wonder if some of these spawns can actually respawn or grow from like scratch. I ask or uh, mention that because I, I've been wondering, I've seen a ton of flowers on plants that I haven't seen before. Like in their, in their current position, I didn't see them before. Now all of a sudden they're there. So I wonder if I just missed them the first time or if they actually grow after a while. I'm just so glad this isn't locked over here. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Okay, so let's see. Resources. You are selling stone, but we can't afford to buy that. Clay. See, if we go mining during nighttime and just get ourselves a ton of clay. Oh, but although we do need explosives. I'd actually argue that explosives are more important, especially during ward nights. Although if we can stealth them, that's the only thing that I really need to do. 4.5. I keep on spending the cash before I'm even able to save up enough to actually use it later. I think for now we'll save that for later. Except if I see something that's gonna, that's gonna give us a ton of wellness right now. Now that was a good deal. Now that was a good deal. Coffee, orange tea. Oh, that's a nice amount of wellness. And I don't have enough cash. See, there has to be another way to earn cash or to make cash. It's a shame we can't convert the, the coin to cash as well. I need to actually come and range all these vehicles over here. Because if I need to escape, Can these vehicles you? are going to be in the way. Great job. Okay, so we'll take the notes and we'll take the explosives. Thank you. Any more jobs? Nighttime only. You we'll do the tier me? ones as well. Because I mean, quests are quests and double rewards are double rewards. I have to make sure that I don't get too hungry. Because I think then sometimes it disables the rewards. Like status effects can disable Here, uh, it. Congratulations. I can make um, my payment to the Duke now. Should have probably gone for the magazine extender, but we should be able to make that soon. And then... This and this might actually help us a lot. But since it's, uh, it's clear as and fair, I just want to do fetches for now. Northeast. We always need someone to have Fantastic! Even if it's a lower tier, I don't mind. I don't want to die dumb deaths just because I'm trying to be clever. It's a shame we can't pick these containers up. But yeah, we're not going to just do high-level quests. Like I said, uh, since we are getting double rewards, any type of quest, tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as long as we can do it easily, like a fetch, we'll do it. And hopefully by Horde Knights, this... Guys, already this base of mine is way better than this over here. Even if we don't have like a proper walkway even. Because there, I didn't know. A lot of people are giving me grief about the fact that I just took this place over. I just, I just quickly used this and I died. It serves me right. But I really didn't know... If it wasn't for the um, roof being a half blocks, I would have survived. I mean, I did underestimate the vultures because it seems you have to do headshots even to the vultures. Which, and the radiated vultures is almost impossible. But I wasn't able to focus on the vultures because of the bloody half blocks. Now already with our base being full blocks, we shouldn't have that same issue during Horde Night. It's already going to make a massive, massive change not having to worry about the blocks. Okay, I need to take all that out. I need to put my fuel in here. And I need to pick this up. During nighttime, I need to actually go underneath this place and just mine. I go into the basement. I do need to place a land claim down over here. 
I'll just make another one quickly. I'm going to place my land claim here to make sure that nothing can spawn in. We already have the bedroll, but I don't want to take any chances. i make more cobble blocks and then land claim. Let's do that first. See, I need to do the walls over here at least so we can look over here. And I want to put the roof up. But other than that, with the uh, cobble we have left, I can also go and upgrade the floor. So I say cobble that I have left, but I have none left. But after we do some mining, let me just show you guys this. We have 5,200 uh, soil. So we can turn this into clay. Or I mean into cobble. All we need is the stone. Unfortunately though, we have very, very little stone. So we won't be able to upgrade much. Now when it comes to ink, I just want to see what the recipe is again. I know there is one. Uh, we'll have to go for the fire one. That requires you to have tomatoes and plant fiber. See, 18. Oof. Just because it's a fire recipe, that's why it's so expensive. Oh, we can do this one. I just need 60 plant fibers and then four honeys. Do I have that many honey? Oh, I don't have enough honey. No, I need two more honeys. I can make one of the inks at least. That's really good. Okay, so yeah, we need to get two more honey. So I need to either... Can you make it? I don't think you can make honey, right? I know you can do the beehive. But yeah, beehive is under the farming... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We can. Chrysanthemum, goldenrod. Let me just do that. Uh, goldenrod. Chrysanthemum. We have a ton of that. Nice. Waters. I need to make sure to be, uh, take the learning elixir next time as well. We need to level up like crazy. We need wood and nails. I need to also do all the sorting over here because this is just ridiculous. Wood and then we have to make more nails. But I think we were making some over here. I wanted to make more storage as well. We're going to extend this roof a bit. But for now, we'll just focus on getting this done. If I can make two or... Yeah, let's make four beehives. Actually make two on me and then two over here. And then put that at the back once again. Boom. Okay, and then we also need animal feed. Uh, that's going to be apples. I need to go for more apple trees. I just want a little bit of honey. If we can just use this to get honey, that's gonna all. That's all that we need right now. Okay, I need to make myself... I wonder if we can. Mortar and pestle. 40 clay. It's doable. If as long as I can make a mortar and pestle, it's going to be one minute something. I'll be able to make the uh, the animal feed quite easily. The only reason I kept all these apples is I know there's going to be a quest, I think, for the farmer class. That requires me to have a ton of apples. But I can always just go for more apple trees. I'm going to actually turn all of that into feed so we can get a ton of honey. Because the moment we can, I just need to also now go for some plant fibers, which I don't think we have over here. I need 30 or 28 more. Should probably do that before nighttime, otherwise it's going to get so dark and dangerous out here. Um, but yeah, what I'm just going to do now, guys, is I'm going to get all the plant fibers. I'm going to make these inks. Uh, next time we'll make the claws. That's a wandering horde over there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they passed my base. Wow, they didn't even come close to my base. I'm, I'm not complaining. Look at them, they're all over there. If I can throw some explosives over there, we'll get a ton of XP, but if we don't kill them, we have a major problem. Oh, the only problem right now is I, I'm gonna possibly aggro them when I start mining during nighttime. I have to make sure I take all the coffees and stuff down with me and just crouch and go as deep as possible before mining a ton. I want to make sure I don't accidentally aggro these guys because that's going to be really bad for us. Oh, crap. Oh, no. They've noticed me. Okay, I'm just going to hide over here on the roof. Uh, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. Look at that. Oh! See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Hell on Earth. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.